What better way to celebrate Lunar New Year than by coming together with family, friends and loved ones near and far in Chinatown, London to enjoy a delicious feast or ten. Celebrating new tastes, new experiences and old favourites, here are five places to add to your London food tour. Before we dig in, hi, I'm Shu, a food travel and London lifestyle content creator. My love of Chinatown London started before I was even born over 31 years ago. My dad started working here on the third day he moved to the city and since then it's been an integral part of my life, particularly during the celebrations for Lunar New Year. Hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very very special London food tour and I'm going to be showing you all of the best things to eat and the best places to go to celebrate Lunar New Year in Chinatown, London. We've booked some good places, we've got some beautiful dishes for you to enjoy and I have come hungry so I cannot wait to tuck in and I'm joined by two very very special guests, my friends Viv and Amy who I'm about to introduce you to now. Let's go celebrate and let's go eat. Yay! Hi, I'm Viv and I am Shu's friend and also part of her management team at Be Influence. I'm also co-founder of Be Seen, Britain's East and Southeast Asian network. And here's my friend, Amy Fong. Hello, I'm Amy. And yes, as Viv mentioned, I am also a core member of Be Seen and I'm a professional eater. Yeah. I'm a dumpling folder, not so great. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for having me. Plum Valley is a stunning restaurant with modern contemporary decor, serving delicious dim sum as well as traditional Cantonese cuisine. You can be sure to find delicious seasonal specials and auspicious dishes here. I mean, look at the presentation of this lucky custard cream bun in the shape of a mandarin or the coconut glutinous rice cake. Food is a very important part of East and Southeast Asian cultures, so make sure to look out for the special dishes when dining here to help promote your health, wealth, prosperity, love life, fortune or even better, the lot. Mm. It's so crispy. It's really nice. This definitely warranted a food dance by the three of us and it's always the mark of a great meal. Next up, Rata Sayang for the Prosperity Salad Toss, otherwise known as Yu Sheng. Yu Sheng. Wow. Wow, look at all. Cantonese style raw fish salad. Serving up a colourful platter of ingredients and seasonings, the ritual involves adding a small dish in a specific order one at a time, each with their own auspicious meaning and auspicious phrase to chant, whilst doing so to promote luck, health, and success throughout the year. It's so much fun and a great communal activity for a group to get stuck in and get involved. We're about to toss the prosperity salad. I am so excited and the higher you toss it, the more luck you get. So we have to basically hit the lights. The higher you go, the more wild, the more health you will okay, get. We'll so high. let's see who's the highest. <laughs> go for it, ladies. Higher. That's it. <laughs> Prosperity salad taste test. Mm. Crunchy, crispy, fresh. So delicious. Mm. Our third spot is Cantonese roast duck from Four Seasons. If you love Cantonese food, roast meats, and duck, this is a must visit all year round, but especially during Lunar New Year. Yes, we are at the Four Seasons restaurant. I've come here all my life, really much, sorry. It's like a family restaurant. So I remember coming here when I was really small and I just feel like it's one of those places in Chinatown that you have to visit. And like, I've been here since I was small, up until I was really big, and now I bring my kids. So it has like a family atmosphere, which is really nice. We're also going to get some fish as well, because that's meant to represent surplus, and also some greens to represent um, health and vitality. Oh, 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 and we're going to get some noodles for longevity, long life, etc. Yeah. We want to live long. We want to live long, forever, ideally. We'll be good. Okay. This is so cool. I love having this microphone. <laughs> is this new? No, I've had it before, I just never yeah. use it. I love it. I feel so professional. I would really love the steamed fish. I think it's really simply cooked with spring onion and ginger, and that's just a classic Cantonese dish. It's steamed, so it's really healthy as well. And it's just good to see in the new year. Ni ni niao yu. Lunar New Year is all about togetherness and reuniting from near and far to celebrate the year ahead. And Four Seasons is one of the best spots in Chinatown London for the occasion. Serving up delicious traditional Cantonese dishes, there's a lot to choose from and an abundance of meals to be shared. The food has been served, so we have the steamed sea bass with ginger and spring onion. It's got the garnish of the ginger, we've got some chilies in there, some coriander, and obviously we have to order the signature 
roasted child that I've been banging on about because it is so good. If you've never had roasted meats and Cantonese roasted meats, where have you been? And also if you eat red meat, I recommend it here. But they also have a lot of seafood and vegetarian options as well. And we have the Chinese water spinach with fermented um, bean curd as well, which is, it goes down so nicely with some steamed rice. This was such a great meal, but there's always room for dessert. And you're always guaranteed to be served up a tasty treat here. Specializing in taiyaki, this is a major order fish-shaped pastry served as a street snack with a sweet filling inside. I also have the Chinese New Year special. Inside, we've got some Chinese New Year cake with some black sesame and peanuts. Wow, it's got the New Year cake inside, We've got some black sesame, peanuts, mm, it's still piping hot. It's chewy, it's sweet, not too sweet, got the texture of the black sesame, the peanuts for that extra crunch, and this is so soft and pillowy as well. It's so good, guys, you have to try it. It's just not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good. Chewy, chewy, crispy. Mm. Warm, mochi, black sesame. I'll let our faces say it all. Before departing, I wanted to ask Viv and Amy what Lunar New Year means to them and this is what they said. What does Lunar New Year mean to you, Amy? I think it means family and I think it means remembering where you came from because I just think living in the UK, you don't often get to celebrate these things and so you have to carve out time for yourself to do that and I think it's a time to like reconnect as well and of course it's a time for food, like that's the most important thing. <laughs> so Lunar Year is mainly for me family and food and reconnection. Oh, I would say exactly the same and also community as well and like reaching out to people who uh, you don't get to see as often and also learning about other East and Southeast Asian communities and the way they do things as well. Every single Asian country celebrates it differently and some don't celebrate it at all so um, I think it's about also um, educating ourselves and learning more and celebrating together. <laughs> Lunar New Year for me means coming together with loved ones whether it's family, friends and being able to celebrate together I think it's such a special time. It's also such an incredible opportunity to be able to teach people and to like share such an integral part of like my upbringing, my heritage with people who may not be familiar with the event. Being able to be with my friends today for the Navy and doing the prosperity salad to us it's all of our first time and it's like that's going to be something I'm going to be remembering forever and it's so special to be able to not only capture that on camera but to be able to like have that moment together so now every time I see it I'm always going to think of you guys <laughs> it's an amazing time of just coming together with people and to just celebrate with food food is our love language so why not celebrate by eating lots and being able to share the love we have for one another and each other by eating and celebrating and wishing each other well for the rest of the year <laughs> last but certainly not least make sure to stock up on your favorite east and southeast asian snacks dumplings and fresh produce from siwu to cook up a storm over lunar new year celebrations there's a lot to choose from and you're guaranteed to leave with a few bags full <laughs> and that concludes this chinatown london food tour for now there's even more to show you but we'll see you in the next video happy new year <laughs>